hey you guys welcome back to the channel and i'm glad to have you guys here today because what we're going to do is discuss a little bit about NECA and where NECA is going with their touring line um as you guys can see we have a couple different variations of NECA figures here we have the movie line we have the running line we even have the mirage comic lines these are one of my finest and best figures that i do own um starting off with the forearm goro style shredder here which is possibly one of my favorite shredders and versions of shredders that i do own i absolutely love this figure as you guys can see the playability is on point like i told you guys on my previous video the things you can do with this figure is the potential that this figure has is crazy as you guys can see i do own two i do own the original let me move them over here so you guys can get a better full view on him let me back them up so you have the original and then you have um the comic uh colored in well inked in um version of shredder here so which one do you guys like better let me know in the comments down below but i will say for me personally i like them both i like where this one's going and i like um this one as well now when it comes to this style i think it looks great because it's the original style when it comes to this style since i do like um my comics when they're inked and not the black and white ones i can see where this is going and how awesome this is for those who truly do like comics and stuff like that now i said it before i don't read much comics um, but when it comes to figures and being original to his counterparts, I 100% support that. And I think that's where I'm trying to hint at where this one looks perfect for what it's truly trying to be. Um, and I absolutely love it. I love it. Look at the details. Even though we got the same figure, the amount of details that are done in the black and white, um, inked one, not black and white, and the inked one. Uh, makes it look a little bit like a different figure even though it's the same mold and everything it still looks they did a great job basically they did a great job with it and talking about the comic inked one look at this one i must say guys i i changed my opinion on when i told you guys that i think this one looked better than the original I've seen the original online now, and I think the original does look a little bit better than this black and red one. But, however, I must say the black and red one um, looks really good. Takes nothing away, you know. The original one doesn't take anything away from this one. They're both awesome, but I think the original one just looks a little bit better. Um, that being said, this is inked really nice. And you can tell that they didn't just went ahead and throw in just black ink everywhere to make it look cool they they did a good job with these figures moving along though to figures that i still have yet to see is the second is the donatello right here for this uh samurai wave and Raphael. now these are being really stocked up in my local walmart i seen the the two packs like three times already um, they keep restocking these guys up, which I love to see that. I love to see that you're able to get these guys, especially when they're still going on the market for like a hundred bucks. It's crazy. So to be able to see these guys still um, being able to be purchased at retail price and at my local Walmart, that's that's nice to see. But I I'm getting kind of tired of seeing them and not seeing Raph and oh, <laughs> and not seeing Raph and Donnie. So I do want to see raf and donatello um i was also thinking about buying them and making a custom inking them up to raf and donnie but you know what i'll wait and save that 60 bucks for another figure by the way guys um i did order my Raphael from the last running so the neca Raphael is coming in so stay tuned for that that brings me to the neca figures themselves um I'm becoming a Last Running fan more now than before. Um, I am reading the book. I do have the book, the Last Running book, uh, which is the... I got the collection, so it has all the chapters and whatnot in the hardcover book. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's a beautiful inked, inked book. I absolutely love it. I'm reading. I'm almost done with it. It's kind of going to be one of my first comics that I do finish. And, man, the story's good. The story's really good, so... 
becoming more of a fan of the figures and of just the lore of the last running. So I do want to get this one, the the original one though, the inked one. Um, it's funny because I seen like seven boxes of these of the original ones. I forgot what Target, and guys, I passed. So next time I see them, I'm definitely gonna pick them up because I do want them. Um, but I do have Raphael on the way, so I can't wait for that, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the new Raph, Leo, and Splinter. Also, um, Casey's out as well. Casey's already sold out, which is crazy because Casey looks so freaking dope, guys. I can't wait to get him. Look at this guy right here, too. This guy's cool, man. Like I said, I'm not doing a review today. I just felt like getting on and just talking about some figures what you guys think about um the the neck of raft let me know because i i can't wait to get them guys honestly i i am hype about them i was gonna get leo and um splinter at the same time but i have to wait guys i can't just go all out like that so i am definitely definitely looking forward to them as well though and i cannot sleep on loyal subjects check out loyal subjects man krang Look, he's so huge. Let me fix this camera off for you guys because he's so huge. This is a big, massive figure. Look at that. But that's why I like this figure because he's just so massive. And I love the ink, man. I just love it. I, I do want to get the Super Shredder base on this uh, last... Not last run. I keep getting confused. I want to get the Super Shredder on the Super 7. Not Super 7. Wow. Wow. These are little subjects. Super 7 made the, the, which one was it? The Super 7 made, um, the Cyborg one, which looks freaking awesome. But Loyal Subjects has a good, um, Super Shredder. And I can't wait to get my hands on him. I still want to get him, but with NECA releasing all these cool figures, guys, I have to go with the NECAs first. I, I really do. They're better quality figures. Um, they're more, uh collectible wise figures and they just do a better job so i i trust me guys i still want to collect some super seven figure some lower subject figures and super seven is releasing some good animated series figures there's just so much is a great time to be a collector especially if you love teenage mutant and the turtle stuff this is the time to collect um so if you guys are interested in getting into the collecting game I definitely would say start now because there's some good figures um, coming out. So check that out. And I heard um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem show is coming out. So let me know if you guys are going to watch that too. I'm, I'm excited to check that out. And, you know, I know there's figures based on that show that are going to be coming out this summer. So I'm hyped. And like I said, guys, I love the Mutant Mayhem line. I like the show. I mean, I like the movie. I'm gonna, pretty sure, gonna like the show. So, let me know just what you guys think, your thoughts and stuff like that. Can't wait to get my Raph. He should be coming in, hopefully this week, guys, and we can see if he really lives up to the hype. We can really see because I haven't seen any reviews on that uh, figure. I don't like to see reviews because I just want to get my first impression on them. So that's why I really don't see reviews on triggers that I want to buy. It's just, uh, I used to see a lot of reviews. Now I don't, guys, because I like to just n not know what to expect and just see what it is. You know, just like in the old days, there was no YouTube, so we couldn't see um, what the figure was like. We just had to take a chance on it. So that's why I, I just like doing that kind of stuff. Um, taking a chance and seeing if they were good or not. Um, most of the time they're good though. The figures have been getting better and better. Um, but yeah guys, let me know what you guys think. Also, the X-Men 97 show is awesome guys. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. I definitely want to start collect finishing. Because I got Wave 1. Well, most of the all the figures I want from Wave 1, X-Men 97 from Hasbro, I do have. Um, I'm missing a couple, but I'm not interested in those. But the new Cyclops and the new um, Nightcrawler and Magneto looks awesome. But again, guys, too many figures to collect at once. So that being said, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts. Basically, I just wanted to 
just rant a little bit was a little bored um and just wanted to get your guys opinion on these NECA figures what do you guys think about the uh um the new running figures I, I mean we waited quite a while we got a lot of mikey's from the last run a lot of different versions so it's about time we get introduced to the other characters so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching viewing subscribing and i'll catch you guys on the next one